So basically, you would have learned by now that um, different planets have different gravity, um, but you may not quite know why. When you eventually, um, when you do, when you get to A level physics, you learn a lot more about this. But um, let's just kind of cover. Um, Let's just briefly look at it now, because I think it's not too complicated, even though it sounds scary because it's A level, but it's not it's not too bad. And I think it's important to understand the reason at an earlier level. So I'm in the forces um, area of the database and um, I'm looking at the simulations. So this is the this is the one what I'm interested in. Gravity Force Lab, we've got basics, so we've got the um, let's look at the one that's not basic. So I've given it a four star rating. So we'll have a, we'll check that out. So we did actually look at this before, um, but let's just remind ourselves how it works. We know that things on Earth feel gravity. We know that if I lift something up, it will fall to the ground, and we know that whilst I'm holding it, I can feel a force pushing my hands down and to stop my hand from going down I have to apply an opposing force upwards so as I lift this bottle of water from my desk it full I can feel it pushing being pulled down to back onto my desk and that's because of gravity why but but what's re, what is the actual attractive force what are the two you know why are, why is there an attractive force or well, the forces between the bottle of water and my entire planet so it's the entire of planet earth and i'm managing to overcome the mass of the uh, force of gravity from an entire planet as i lift this bottle of water up so we can imagine that mass one might be um my bottle of water well in my bottle of water is much less than 10 kilos but let's let's say one object is the thing that's being attracted to it, and then over here is the um, is the is the planet. Of course, these masses are not quite right. We the, the bottle of water is much less than ten kilos, and the planet is much greater than a thousand kilos. But you can see that the forces are dependent on the mass of the planet and the mass of the object because they're just two different objects. A planet is an object, and so is my bottle of water. So as I decrease the size of the planet, the size of the force decreases. Maybe we can use scientific notation. Or perhaps we can just look at the actual arrow itself. And if I increase the size of the, the arrow, it's very tiny, so it's difficult to notice it changing. If I increase the, increase the size of the object I'm trying to lift, trying to pull away from the planet, then you can see the arrow is increasing again now. If I look at, um, let's start, let's get it at 200. <laughs> if I can, can I just, um, uh, maybe. I... There you go, 200. And then, um, well, it says 8.34. Maybe just look at the arrow itself. So I'm going to hide the actual values. And then if I in double that, that size to um, to 400, hopefully hopefully you're able to see that the arrow is double the size so you double the mass you double the force okay and that's the same as a planet or with the uh, or with the object okay so i'll just start a video there